Hey guys, it's Chrissy, and I'm going to read you your bedtime story tonight. Uh, but first I want to ask you a question. Have you, any of you ever heard of a fable? Do any of you know what a fable is? Yeah, a fable is a story that teaches us a lesson. And a lot of times in fables, there are animals that can talk or parts of the earth that can talk that, that have names and things like that. So I'm going to be reading you a story tonight about creatures, all like different animals that can talk and the wind and the mountains and the ocean. And one of the creatures in particular is called Old Turtle. And actually the book is called Old Turtle. And this is one of my favorite books. And I read this every once in a while to my kids too. So I just wanted to share it with you tonight. And in this story, um, we actually come to a little lesson at the end. So just follow along with me. Every once in a while, I might hold up the pictures close to the camera so that you can see what's going on. Um, yeah, so just thanks for coming and we're gonna get started. Old Turtle. Once long, long ago, yet somehow not very long ago, when all the animals and rocks and winds and waters and trees and birds and fish and all the beings of the world could speak and understand one another. Here's some different beings in the world. There began an argument. They started arguing, those creatures. It began softly at first, quiet as the first breeze that whispered. He's a wind who never sits still, said the breeze, quiet as the stone that answered. He is a great rock that never moves. Gentle as the mountain that rumbled. God is a snowy peak high above the clouds, said the mountain. And the fish in the ocean, here's some fish in the ocean, that answered, God is a swimmer in the deep, dark blue depths of the sea. No, said the star, God is a twinkling and a shining far, far away. No, replied the little ant. God is a sound and a smell and a feeling who is very, very close. God, said the antelope. Here's some antelopes running really fast. God, said the antelope, is a runner swift and free who loves to leap and race with the wind like we do. Mm, she is a great tree, whispered the willow, a part of the world always growing and always giving. You are wrong, answered the island. God is separate and apart. God is like the shining sun far above all things, said the blue sky. No, he is a river who flows through the very heart of things, thundered the waterfall. And here's a waterfall. She is a hunter, roared the lion. God is gentle, chirped the robin. He is powerful, growled the bear. And the argument between the creatures grew louder and louder and louder until, stop, a new voice spoke. It rumbled loudly like thunder and it whispered softly like butterfly sneezes. The voice seemed to come from, well, it seemed to come from Old Turtle. Now, Old Turtle hardly ever said anything, and certainly never argued about things like God. But now, Old Turtle began to speak. God is indeed deep, she said to the fish in the sea, and much higher than high, she told the mountains. He is swift and free as the wind, and still and solid as a great rock, she said to the breezes and the stones. She is the life of the world, Turtle said to the willow. Always close by, yet beyond the farthest twinkling light, she told the ant and the star. God is gentle and powerful, above all things and within things. God is all that we dream of and all that we seek, said old Turtle, and all that we come from and all that we can find. God is, said old Turtle. 
Here's old turtle talking to the creatures. God is. Old turtle had never said so much before. All the beings of the world were surprised and they became very quiet. But old turtle had one more thing to say. There will soon be a new family of beings in the world, she said, and they will be strange and wonderful. They will be reminders of all that God is. They will come in many colors and shapes with different faces and ways of speaking. Their thoughts will, sto will soar to the stars, but their feet will walk on the earth. They will possess many powers. They will be strong yet tender, a message of love from God to the earth and a prayer from the earth back to God. Who was, who was Old Turtle talking about? He was talking about people. Here's some people. And the people came. Look at all these people coming for miles and miles and miles. Can you see that? But the people forgot. They forgot that they were a message of love and a prayer from the earth. They began to argue about who knew God and who did not, and where God was and where God was not, and whether God was or was not. And often the people misused their powers and hurt one another, or even killed one another, and they hurt the earth until finally even the forests began to die. It's kind of sad. And the rivers and the oceans too. And the plants and the animals and the earth itself. Because the people could not remember who they were or where God was. Until one day there came a voice like the growling of thunder, but as soft as butterfly sneezes. Please stop, said the voice. The voice seemed to come from the mountain who rumbled. Here's the mountain rumbling. Sometimes I see God swimming in the dark blue depths of the sea, said the voice. And from the ocean who sighed, he is often among the snow-capped peaks, reflecting the sun too. From the stone who said, I sometimes feel her breath as she blows by. And from the breeze who whispered, I feel his still presence as I dance among the rocks. And the star even said, God is very close. And the island said, his love touches everything. And after a long, lonesome, and scary time, the people listened. They listened. And they began to hear, you guys. The people began to hear and to see God in one another. And they even began to see God in the beauty of all the earth around them. And Old Turtle smiled. Do you want to see Old Turtle smile? That's a big smile. You know who else smiled? And God smiled too. It says, and so did God. I love this book because I think sometimes, sometimes we just need to remember that God is with us and that we don't have to argue about silly things and we don't have to go through hard times and wonder where God is because God's with us always, right? Thank you so much for reading that book with me. I love you and I miss you and I'll see you soon.